Now, going over to the culture part of the podcast, you have Kamala, Women for Kamala, has a trans participant, which sparks controversy. Now, this is brought to us thanks to End Wokeness on X Twitter, which he says, quote, Team Harris held an uh, official Women for Kamala Zoom meeting last night. This is one of the quote-unquote ladies in charge, which, yeah, spoiler alert, not a lady. Interesting background, kind of like a really creepy, like a horror film. Trying to think of how to describe it, but just zigzags. This individual has long hair, earrings, lipstick, of course, and some type of pink t-shirt. Some type of scrunchie with long hair. So F minus for fashion, obviously. And it's not too painful. It's only about 30 seconds, so not too much further ado. Good evening, folks. My name is Charlotte Clymer. My pronouns are she, her. I am a writer and activist, and I am so excited to be part of this. His- It'd be fascinating to see, or well, I would love to see a statistical breakdown of like how many of these people have real jobs actually make a profit. There's so many people that are involved in politics, involved in commentating, and all this kind of stuff where they, they just say, act, like, who's writing the checks so that they can actually have an apartment or have a house? I mean, where's that money come from? And then, I mean, how many people are on the left versus the right in terms of that? That'd be an interesting thing. If you, you have that statistics, let me know in the comments historic gathering of women across the country. Now, look, I'm not going to repeat to y'all what the brilliant and eloquent women have stated before me, and nor do I have the eloquence and brilliance of the women who are going to speak over the remainder of the evening. I'm just going to tell y'all a quick story about why I proudly support Vice President Harris. Spoiler alert, I guess the story was terrible, or just not worth mentioning. Yeah, I was, again, I'm still waiting for the bullet points of like, here's one, two, three things that Kamala Harris has accomplished why you should vote for her. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying I have not seen them ever on social media or in conversation. This went pretty well. I got 841,000 views and 11,000 likes. One of the first comments coming from Gunther Eagleman saying, quote, is that a dude getting 1.4 thousand likes? Also, Zupa says canceling women doesn't seem like a good strategy for winning votes for women. Getting 505 likes, which... Yes, yeah, fascinating. The side that says, you know, women for Kamala also cannot define what a woman is. And those are the same people where they, or some of them do attempt to define it. They say that women that can have, women can have male private parts. Which, one of the best documentaries is What is a Woman by Matt Walsh. I mean, that was the one reason I know so many people signed up for the Daily Wire so they could have access to that film. Because it was horrifying and all too accurate of how modern society has crumbled and fallen. I also have Andy No saying Charles... Climber? Really? And wow, this person looks like it's, they're from maybe Frank, not, not Frankenstein, the Adams family. They, uh, or, I mean, teeth yellowed it as if they smoked 12 packs of cigarettes in a single day. A lot of Botox, I'm guessing. Long hair. Obviously, a man in a type of weird blouse. Yeah, I got 308 likes, though. So. Going down. Ginny Trump won, Carrie Lake won, long profile name, but it is there nevertheless, says, quote, obviously this is a man, this is very insulting to women. Hey, all you feminists out there, do you realize the sickening agenda trying to knock women completely out of society? They're going at this because women are the glue that hold American family together. They're trying to destroy this in a picture of a loving father or wife and then a daughter or son at church. It's, the picture says, this is what the left is trying to destroy. It gained 252 likes. Zena Jill Gill says, if your boyfriend is voting for Kamala Harris, you don't have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. They have a picture of Kamala Harris with a person has got to be seven feet tall, a drag queen. That did get 115 likes. Jim Monomics says, why is a dude leading a women's group? In 513 likes. Gary Mariano says, does that thing have one of these? And unfortunately, someone's I mean, it's not bleeding or anything, but the arm has been um, medically butchered, or skin has been removed from the arm to make imitation body parts. They got 189 likes. Alec Lay says he is in the wrong Zoom meeting. White dudes for Kamala just ended, getting 523 likes, which is fascinating. They say they're not racist, yet they have all these individual groups that only focus on their race. Spitfire says, but JD Vance is weird, quote unquote, getting 157 likes. Oh, the, ga- the classic GameStop. The meme merchant says, the- that's a dude. It says, dear sir. The patient says, it's ma'am. Dear ma'am, you have testicular cancer. That got 
253 likes, as well as the horrifying individual who got mad at the GameStop and play for no real reason. Getting 253 likes again. Masculine base says, definitely raised by the government, and says, when you accidentally leave your, let your kids, let the government raise your kids. And it's a picture of a normal boy, and then he slowly transitions, getting pink hair, and then, yeah, makeup and girl clothes. Getting 187 likes. Heather Heather 7 says, the left can't define a woman. Not shocked. Women Kamala had a few baritone bonnies in it. Baritone bonnies in it. Getting 118 likes. See, there's any contrarian statements here. Because again, those wi those rooms aren't empty. There are many women joining these Kamal Harris um, little groups and stuff. Um, Just Jess also says male privilege is being able to invade women's spaces and have feminists defeat defend you. A ninety eight likes. So at least in this particular thread, I'm not seeing any contrarian statements. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, all these little groups are coming out. I, I, still, I thought it was a parody when someone says, you know, white guys or white dudes for Harris. I didn't think it was a real thing. Apparently it is a real thing, which, yeah. <laughs> it will be interesting to see culturally if we keep focusing on race throughout these years. I hope not. It's really about what is, man what is a man's character and his actions, not, you know, things he can't control. But let me know. Do you think this is an effective marketing, cultural, and political campaign or this methodology? Let me know in the comments. As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.